What's up guys, John here, and welcome back to another Destiny video. Today is Wednesday, weekly reset for Arms Day. And, we're here by the gunsmith. We're gonna check out what orders he has brought for us from last week, and what orders he has for next week. And, what test weapons he's gonna have for us this week to complete. Let's get right into it with the packages that we ordered from last week. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the Arm and SD. For rank 1. Not too bad from what I can see. Rank 2. Seems pretty good. And rank 3 seems to be uh, pretty decent as well. Again, these are one of the high fire rate uh, and low impact auto rifles. For the first one, you can see that as the thermal scope, surrounded, heating frenzy, high caliber rounds, and loaded braced frame. This one's probably going to be the uh, one to choose due to the fact that it has braced frame and feeding frenzy. Two great perks uh, to be uh, as a combination. The next one, he also has the SD Thermal, Crowd Control, Range Finder, Second Point Sling, Hitted Stock, and Small Bore. Pretty decent, but again, with these, uh, this type of archetype of war, uh, not a rifle, you want as much stability as you can get. So again, let's go ahead and uh, look at number three. As I say, he has the LB Assault Scope, Army of One, Class Half Full, Single Point Sling, and Loaded. And small bore again. From what I can see, my best recommendation would be to go with the rank one, due to the fact, because it has raised frame. Raised frame is probably one of the best perks for this kind of weapon. Again, most of these weapons are probably just going to end up to, uh, being legendary marks for me. But I'm just going to go ahead and recommend rank one for the armorist. Now for the Ufern, I go ahead and check out rank one. The Ufern, he has third eye, lightweight. Reinforced Barrel, Life Support, and Underdog. So, uh, that's pretty decent. I would actually recommend that one, but uh, the overall one, uh, out of what I can see already, even though the other two have Luck in the Chamber, would be the middle one. It has Luck in the Chamber, Lightweight, Rifled Barrel, Firefly, and Exhumed. And as we can see for the Rank 3, it having Luck in the Chamber as well. It also has Lightweight, Braced Frame, Outlaw, and surrounded but since the rank 2 has a range perk I would recommend this one for having rifled barrel it pairs up greatly because you have a, a longer damage fall off so the rank 2 would probably be the best choice here I'm gonna go ahead and pick that now for the herge D what I've seen already really great rolls uh, but the best one will probably be rank 3 well, let's go ahead and check out rank 1 Rank 1, LC Range Scope, Crowd Control, Range Finder, Single Point Sling, Hand Loaded, and Reinforced Barrel. Pretty decent perks, but not the best combo. For Rank 2, he also has the LC Range Scope as well, Danger Close, Zen Moment, Snapshot, Hand Loaded, and Reinforced Barrel again. Not too bad, but let's go ahead and check out Rank 3. Rank 3 is probably going to be the best, and uh, probably one of the best rolls you can almost get on this type of weapon. Uh, if it had a class half full, that would be even uh, even better than this. But he has the SD Thermal again, Head Seeker, Feeding Frenzy, Single Point Sling, Speed Reload, he has Hand Laid Stock. This thing is almost a laser. It might pull to the left a little, just like all Hockey Pulse Rifles do. But having Feeding Frenzy and Head Seeker is just really great combination. Especially at having Hand Laid Stock, which you get a max stability on it. So my choice here be rank 3. Zumi RR4. Oh, well, this is the fourth package. I'm gonna go ahead and check out rank 1 and see what perks it has. The scopes, it's the Yapaki SS2 and the Aquila SS4. Performance bonus, snapshot, reinforced barrel, replenish, and shoot to loot. Not the best of perks, but they're pretty decent, but they're more so situational, especially with, uh, with replenish, and since it's a low impact, you definitely want uh, stability on this kind of sniper rifle. Go ahead and check out rank 2. Rank 2 has the Yapaki SS2 and the Falcon SS1. I think I mispronounced it the first time. Performance bonus, quick draw, rifled barrel, Zen moment, and exhumed. And then rank 3. Let's go ahead and check that one out. It has the Corvo SS2 and the Falcon SS1. Army of 1, snapshot, casket mag, plenish. And underdog they're all 
decent. They're not the best. I guess it all depends on what you want to do. But again, like I said, with the uh, this kind of sniper rifle, you definitely want more stability. So in my choice, I would recommend uh, the rank two since it has Zen moment. But again, this isn't the best sniper rifle in the game, or it really isn't a great one. Probably better off just using the thousand yards that you get from doing the quest. But just for the hell of it, we're going to go ahead and pick rank 2 for Zen Moment and Performance Bonus. And now let's end off with the Irene Sniper Rifle. And as you can see, none of these have luck in the chamber, which kind of sucks. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and check them out anyway. For the first one, he has the Apache SS2 and the Falcon SS1 uh, Scopes. Army of 1, Snapshot, Oiled Frame, Zen Moment, and Exhumed. Alright, perks, not the best. Rank 2. It's pretty decent perks on it. Condor SS2 and the Falcon SS1 scopes. He has Outlaw, Quick Draw, Oiled Frame, Unflinching, and Shoot to Loot. Pretty decent with Outlaw and Unflinching, as well as Oiled Frame for that increased reload. But again, like I said, none of these have Look in the Chamber, so they're not the best. Uh, for it being the Irene, since Look in the Chamber is the unique perk that this Sniper Rifle can have. For the scopes on rank 3 is Condor. And a Falcon. He has Outlaw, Single Point Sling, Rifled Barrel, Zen Moment, and Exhumed. Pretty decent perks on this one again. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. I would have to say just hold on to the Irene package. So you can hopefully get a Luck in the Chamber one for next week. Uh, I'm going to hold off on mine, so I'm not going to pick one up. Let's go ahead and end off with the Field Test Weapons and the Foundry Orders, and uh, we'll see how it goes. For the Syros auto rifle, you have to kill Cabal targets. For the Hake hand cannon, you have to get uh, Crucible kills. This is probably one of the worst ones out of them all. I really dread this one. For the Pulse rifle, he has the Hake. You just need precision kills on enemies. For the Syros pulse rifle, you just have to kill Hive. And for the Hake shotgun, again, you have to kill Hive. Pretty decent, not too bad, except the Hake test hand cannon is probably the worst out of like. Any one of them that you can take in the Crucible, because I think this one is the one you have to get like the most kills, but it's whatever. For the Foundry Orders, he has a Hake Judith uh, hand cannon. Pretty decent. The Omlan Kumakarak hand cannon as well. This is a Hake Hergity Pulse Rifle again. Hake Strongbow Shotgun. And the Hake Tamar D Sniper Rifle. Uh, I really haven't seen much of the Tamar at all, so I'm not too sure about that one. But in my... Uh, my experience, I would definitely recommend again the Herge D. If you want to get better rolls than the rank 3 one that was uh, available for this week, I would recommend the Herge D. Then, I guess in my opinion, it would be either one of the hand cannons. doesn't really matter. Hand cannons are pretty decent, but uh, none are that great, I think, as the Ufern and the Kuma Kadok, whatever you want to call this one. I think I said it right. I don't know. So... I guess the Kumakadok, the Omelon one. Then I would recommend the Judith. Then the Strongbow. And then the Tamar. Pretty interested in what the Tamar looks like. I haven't really seen the stats on it, so definitely be picking this one up. I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, make sure I pick that one up for now. That's pretty much going to do it for me for this week, guys. Uh, hopefully, you got that Herja D pulse rifle. I think that one's going to be pretty nicely. I remember uh, Taking King just came out, and that's the, one of the main guns I was using. Everybody knew pulse rifles were pretty much OP. And I had pretty great rules on the Urgities that I had, so it's going to be a pretty fun gun to use overall. So, that, again, that's pretty much going to do it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.